metals and non-metals. Introduction Elements are classified as metals and non-metals. Elements are classified as metals and non-metals. Most of the metals are malleable, ductile, and some of them are good conductors of heat. Calcium, aluminium metals. Metals are helpful to us in many ways. We use them in the construction of houses, automobiles, electrical electricity. Malleability. Take a small iron nail, a cold piece, a peel with a hammer. Try to hit hard. Hit hard the aluminium wire also. Then repeat the same shape of the iron nail and the aluminium wire changed on beating. If they were beaten harder, these could be changed into sheeting swedes. You must also be familiar with the aluminium foil used for wrapping food. The property of metals by which they can the property of metal by which it can be drawn into wires is called ductility. Mit lustrous, malleable, ductile, sonorous, and good conductors of heat and electricity. The materials which generally possess are iron, copper, aluminium, calcium, magnesium, etc. In contrast, mit they break down into a powdery mass on tapping with a hammer. They are not sonorous and are poor conductors of heat and electricity. The examples of non-metals are sulfur, carbon, oxygen, phosphorus, etc. Chemical solve it in a very little amount of water. You will find that the rust remains suspended in water with red and blue litmus papers. It turns red litmus blue, which is basic in nature. Chemical propoist air for long it acquires a dull green coating. The green material is a mix and copper carbonate, CuCO3. The following is the reaction. 2Cu2 gives CuOH the whole 2 plus CuCO3. Take a small amount of powdered sulfur in a deflagrating spoon and heat it. If deflagrating spoon and wrap a metallic wire around it and give it the shape as shown in figure. As soon as sulfur starts burning into tumbler with a lid to ensure that the gas produced does not escape. Remove the spoon after some time. Add a small shake the tumbler well. Check the solution with red and blue litmus papers as shown in figure is sulfur dioxide gas. When sulfur dioxide is dissolved in water, sulfurous acid is formed. SO2 plus water H2O gives sulfurous acid H2SO3. Generally, oxides of non-metals are acidic in nature.